Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield, and I'm really glad to be with you today. I want you to know America's at the crossroads today, and I want to talk to you about that. We have a very important presidential election that's coming up. There are some principles I want to talk about. I want you to know that I love everyone in this audience. I love America. I love the flag, and I love everything America stands for. I'm a pastor. I believe in good moral principles and living a good life. But I want to share with you a few things of why America is at the crossroads today. First of all, in this next presidential election, the Supreme Court justices are of supreme importance. When we elect, we don't want to put uh, liberal people in the White House and in the Supreme Court that are going to bring in liberal people that's going to take away some of our religious freedom and, and everything that stands for. So I would vote for a candidate that would stand for good conservative uh, people that could run in the Supreme Court. Another thing that uh, I should mention is this nation has turned away from Israel, especially in this last administration. We need to bless Israel and stand with Israel through everything. The Lord says if we will bless Israel, he will bless us. So we cannot turn our backs up on Israel if we're going to keep the blessing of God up on this nation. I mentioned a minute ago our religious freedom is at stake. You know, people are making fun of a lot of us people that preach conservative and they call us Bible-thumping preachers. But we like our good families. We like to raise families. We like principles. Uh, we like God in our home, God in our families. Uh, and that's going to make a difference. And I would vote for someone that stands for all of these principles. Abortion is a terrible thing that's happened in this nation. We've had 15 million babies killed in this nation. From border to border, the blood has run cold with we're killing our own babies and we want to open to have open borders and we want to bring all the people in here, but yet we still want to kill our own children. What a sad thing that is. The economy is in $20 trillion in debt. We used to be a lender nation, and now we are a debtor nation, and they, we no longer can say, you know, the Word of God says that we need to be a lender and not a borrower, and God has not blessed this nation lately because we continue to plunder into debt, and a looming economical disaster is hanging over our heads all the time. I hate to say this, but the judgment of God is hanging over this nation because one simple thing, we have redefined marriage and we have again went against the principles of God. God is not going to turn the other way and look at this. God respects love between a man and a woman and loves people that will stand for the marriage vow. This is an election that's so important in our nation. I hope in this next debate we will concentrate on just issues and not on personal insults, because personal insults is not going to get us elected to anything, and especially when we're the president. We need to, we need to stand for principles, and uh, I hope that all the candidates stand up there and say what their platform is in this next election. The only way to make America great again, and this is not an insult against Donald Trump, the only way to make great again is put God back in our nation, back in our schools, back in our home, and everything that God stands for, back in our marriages. Uh, we have some dysfunctional people that live in town. I pastor in a small town of 2,000, somewhere around there, and we have so many dysfunctional families live in our city that don't know they're on drugs and they watch pornography all the time. I want to tell you something. All these things that have been going on on TV and, and bringing insults against everybody about doing this and doing that. Every night on television, you can see just about all the junk you want to look at. And I want to tell you, no wonder we can't have happy homes and happy families because drugs and, and pornography and everything is ruining this nation and running our morals and help us to bring back God into our nation. Please vote when, when the election comes up this time, and vote for God. Vote for God. Put him in your thought pattern. And we want to make America great again, certainly again. And we want to bring God back to our homes and back to our children. Our children's are at stake. 
It's for sure we're in great danger right now. I guess we're in the greatest danger we ever had because we're a split nation. We're split, it seems like, from the very core. And I want to tell you what, I'm praying today for our nation. I stand with Franklin Graham and all of those principles uh, that he stands for and bringing God back to our nation with Billy Graham and what he brought to this nation, the Judeo principles that make this nation great. Uh, and I certainly want to see this nation be great again. And I'm praying for our nation today. Lord, may our nation turn back to God. And, O oh Lord, may our nation see the need of you in our lives. And, Lord, I thank you for everyone that listens to me today. With all the love and all the prayers, uh, I pray that we will have a, a change in this nation and bring revival back to our nation. Make the church stronger than it's ever been before. It's going to be stronger because, God, when darkness gets uh, the darkest, the church is going to get stronger. And, Lord, we thank you for being with us. Bless Christians around the world, those that have lost families and lives that have been beheaded. Help them and be with them in this hour, we pray in Jesus' name. I've given a great deal of thought about what I said today. And I trust you will listen prayerfully to everything I've said. And may God richly bless you today in the wonderful name of our Lord who made the heavens and the earth.